So conflict resolution, we've got into that part. And every team, anywhere where you have more than one person working on something, you guys are going to have conflict. It's just human nature. But now, how do you move ahead, move beyond this conflict and actually work nicely without people holding grudges, having beef, saying, ah, I don't like that person, I can't work with them. So how do you figure out how to solve conflict in an effective way? Now, usually there's usually a bit of a challenge for people in solving conflict and that's because they don't know the steps that you need to take. So of course you're told, ah, sit down together and have a conversation and solve your problems. But there's usually a process, there's a science to the magic that happens when a conflict is resolved. So let's talk about conflict resolution stages. The first step is setting the scene. So you've had conflict. Now, usually the thing that works is getting away from the area where there was that conflict because of course you're still carrying that energy. Whether you like it or not, the specific area reminds you of the conflict. So set the scene, probably away from where there was conflict. The next step is gathering information. So the main problem with conflict, it starts from either there was miscommunication or different people didn't have different information and that's where all the beef start to come in. So whether you're mad at each other or not, it's about taking the breath and then now gathering the different information. So you have to understand the situation. Where did it all start from? Because this is always a, as a result of things that have piled up. So you have to think critically and go back and think about, okay, where did this start? This is how, what the project was supposed to be and then this is what happened or it, it was a personal issue. So you dig through until you get to the root of the problem. So gather all that information, do your research, dig through, think back objectively, not with that anger in mind. Once you have the information, now you agree on the problem. So you've gathered information and now you sit down, you've discussed and you figure out, okay, so clearly there was a problem on my part, there was a problem on your part. So you figured out this is what the problem was and you agree that that was the actual problem. The next is you brainstorm on possible solutions. Now this involves a bit of negotiation. So you've gone through this conflict, so how do you go beyond it? You've had problems with each other, how do you get the actual solution? So of course guys, as humans, we're kind of selfish. So you'll be like, you have to tell me sorry. You're like, I, why do I have to apologize fast? Things like that. But this is where negotiation comes in. So negotiation is the next step. So you figured out, okay, these are the possible solutions. So now you have to negotiate a way out. And usually it's easier when you're on neutral ground. And you can always fall into the situations of uh, you are more wrong than I was wrong, but at the end of the day, there was definitely a problem. And the way to solve this is, of course, you negotiate to like, fine, I'm very sorry. And as a result, the other person is also apologetic. Now, a main problem in this part, this is where problems don't get solved, this last part. You figured out that there was a problem, uh, you're trying to get a solution to it, but the thing that comes into this situation is pride. And sometimes, it depends on your personality as well, but if something has moved on too long, sometimes it's up to one of the parties to be humble. And if you see that situations are going too far, it's up to you to be humble. And nothing um, probably irritates another party more or makes them feel more humble than you beginning the process. So if you humble yourself, apologize, it usually results in the next party apologizing. Now, sometimes this might not work, but the main thing about conflict resolution is when you are comfortable and you're happy with how you've moved past that situation, at the end of the day, whether it will take a bit of time or immediately, the next party will also be able to mellow out in time and you can move back to the rhythm of how things were. So that's the process of conflict resolution. It's not easy, but you have to go through it. And the thing is, the more you ignore a situation, the more it's going to climb, climb, climb. Next thing you know, there's a huge fallout and nobody knows where it actually came from. That's why conflict resolution is important and those are the steps you take. So in different situations, whether it's different projects you're working with somebody, something got messed up and everybody was in trouble and now you're mad at each other, sit down, have a conversation. If it's a personal thing within the office, same process applies and this conflict resolution applies for every situation of your life, in friendship, in relationship, family issues, and at work as well. So I hope you've understood how 
to solve your problems and resolve different conflicts as you're going through them and working within a team. So the next section we are going to talk about is negotiation. This is ZD, where you know more and do more. <laughs>